That, so that's Munich malt, which is quite a pale malt. Okay. Um, so if you try some of that as well, you'll notice it's, it's again quite a little bit sweet, but it's obviously you can kind of taste the the real difference between those yeah. two. We get roasted to develop colour and flavours. Generally, the more the darker the colour, the greater kind of um, in-depth flavour they've got. Right. So, the, so you're talking more like your stouts with the darker grain. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it doesn't take much to get a, a significantly darker colour into the beer. Um, this is... Is it just a higher heat? Just um, a, a higher heat, exactly. So that's a dark malt, and obviously the other ones are a bit lighter. That's really good. Most beers would use kind of at least 80% of the pale malt. In fact, generally most oh, beers right. probably use, use at least 90% of pale so, malt. So it's how you mix and match? How you mix and match the different, the different malts to achieve okay. different kind of um, shades of colour, if you like. So, so when you're designing a beer, do you experiment? Do you just have a day where you're like, oh, we're going to try some different Well, generally, or? that's where the science comes in. Basically, you can get, I guess, 90% of the way there with the science because depending on how much alcohol we want, will yeah. determine how much malt we need. So that's easily done. Yeah. Um, the malts also have a colour specification, so we can actually determine how much colour we want by using different proportions of malt. So the science can get us kind of pretty much there as well with that. So you've already got a good idea. Already got a good idea. And then, for, so that's, that'll give us the, the sweetness, if you like, yeah. and the, the colour and that background flavour of malt. Yep. And then from the hops, we're going to get the bitterness and some aromas and flavour from them. The first step in the brewing process is to get the malted grain into the mash tun. And the mash tun is a huge stainless steel tank filled with hot water about 72 to 73 degrees Celsius. As soon as that grain gets into that hot water, a, a reaction starts to occur and sugars are given off from the grain and different temperatures give different amounts of sugar. Now the difficulty is, is maintaining a really constant temperature. So the way they get it in there without the water cooling down is they take the grain, they put it in this container up here and they add a big long pipe going into the mash tun, which is down there. Now as the grain's going through the pipe into the mash tun, they also feed in hot, hotter water, which is around 82, 83 degrees, which cools down when it hits the grain to around 72 degrees. So the whole thing is maintaining this constant temperature so that the right amount of sugars can be released.